Welcome, I'll be reacting to Black Sails, Season 3, Episode 7. This is not a market substitute. Support the original on the stars. Is it a trap or does she really want to talk to Anne? I am alone. As I promised I would be. Jack don't want it turned over. If he did, he'd be the one asking me to do they it. They are hurting him, Anne. She will resist a while. It will tear her to pieces. But sooner than later, she will acquiesce. How can you know this for certain? She knows. Who is Jack Rackham? At the moment, he's the most wanted man in the West Indies, owing to a cache of rare jewels in his possession. Use the cache to lure him to committing his forces onto an undesirable battlefield. Committing all of his forces there. Break the back of his military strength and open up Nassau. That's a lot of ifs. Here. Uh, here? No. Plan is to lure the British Navy here? That's, that's a terrible plan. Without means to engage them, their heavy guns would repel any attempt to defend the beach. I don't know yet. And let's say somehow you're able to eliminate some of their numbers on the beach. We have neither the manpower nor the ammunition to fight the kind of battle you're suggesting. How do you propose to gain these things on the schedule you're suggesting? I don't know yet. I'm not going out there with I don't know yet. I agree. She's right. Of that I am most certain. That is not enough. He also maintained a stockpile on Nassau in preparation for a day such as this. As far as we know, it is still there. And he's too weak to leave our care. <gasps> Maddie? She will help you get what you need. Oh, this is very dangerous. But what? But this battle is ours as much as yours. And when I'm not present, it's her. That word shall be given by my daughter. Balance him out a bit. You told her I was being tortured. How do you imagine she would feel if she were told you were suffering some awful, degrading abuse? And no one was harmed. We're all villains in Nassau. Don't think because you knew you were any different. <laughs> Encourage Governor Rogers not just to send the gold, but to send something more. An offering to demonstrate good faith and friendship. Captain Rackham. Oh no. Is everything all right? Nothing that I can't wait. I beg your pardon. <laughs> he knows a bad situation when he sees one. I actually kind of like him. He's grown on me. They've been forbidden from provoking her. That's not going to help. I mean, have you met Anne? Losing half of herself this way. But no ghost story I've ever heard of begins with the ghost introducing himself. Mm-hmm. I mean, you walk in there and insist on your own fearsomeness. Sort of threatens to do more damage than good. And talking about how Flint has returned will be more frightening than seeing him. Oh, Eleanor. Eight of my men have fallen ill. One of your warehouses has been converted into a sick bay. Many of my people will die. Except for her. I give you my word. My commitment to you is inviolable. We shall see. <laughs> you want to use Max's girls to inform on the governor's operation without telling Max. The right girl could get enough out of him to piece the rest together. And this may be our only chance to find out for sure. She has questioned Max before. I think she'll do it for him. And the legend of Long John Silver begins. I come on behalf of Captain Flint. Captain Flint is dead. Is he? Not anymore, he's not. Every name in this volume belongs to a man who turned his back on that pledge. Any man who meets us on the sand will be accepted back into the fold. His name redacted from this book. I will keep the list of names remaining. Now those men will not be forgotten. Those men will hear from us again. The Black Spot. The Black Spot! He died? 
And this is supposed to be a kid's movie. Is that where it all began? I know enough of you to know that even Hull, you were unworthy of half of the attention we paid you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You had to make an impression. Tomorrow you will join us. Or you will all be looking over your shoulders the rest of your lives. My name is John Silver. And I've got a long fucking memory. Uh... Oh, wow. The things that losing Miranda drove me to. So I know what you're feeling at the moment. How good it feels. This is the episode Long John Silver emerges, as we're more familiar with him. But though the identity was in question, the message they left behind was clear. They claim Flint will be returning tomorrow east of the bay is to take on recruits. That I too am so weak as to fear a ghost? No, I prefer there be no one there to meet him because no one wants to be there to meet him. Can you help see to that? Instead of coaxing information out of men's heads, I need for this place to be able to put ideas into them. Ooh. If tomorrow a hundred men appear on the beach intending to join Captain Flynn's crew, it will be a problem for the governor. I have appointed a new madame more than capable of guiding you through it. Good evening, girls. No way. It's nice to be home. Ugh. Well, let's get back to work, shall we? You seem troubled. Go away. Would you like to know the advice I gave her then? No. We won't have long. Lee Charles will meet us at the rendezvous. It's scheduled. Is that the governor? <laughs> what? If he keeps the men off the beach with guns, he only inflames their curiosity. That is a bold move, Rogers. Miss Guthrie tells me you were part of the first effort with Lord Hamilton and Peter Ash to introduce the pardon to Nassau. All I have done here is finish what you began. Mm. Clever. Just as Thomas Hamilton wanted. If you say Thomas's name one more time, he's probably going to just snap. You can see him wincing every time. What a story you'll have to spin to your men to turn me into the kind of villain worth losing their lives over. I've lived on the other side of those stories. I'm sure I'll figure something out. <laughs> I'm sure you will. But if you insist upon making me your villain, I'll play the part. So let us assume that as of this moment, the unqualified pardon is no more. Any man participating in the act of high seas piracy will be presumed to be one of your men. I will hunt him. I will catch him. And I will hang him. Well, he doesn't have the authority to yet. He will soon. At first, he didn't actually have the ability to try and hang them as governor. So they've been speeding up the timelines, I noticed, a lot just so that we don't have to sit through what actually happened. The governor came way earlier than he should have, and maybe they're giving him the authority way earlier as well, which means certain other events that are going to happen will probably occur sooner rather than later. I am no backwater magistrate, cowering in fear of you. You know where to find me. Jack's in there. You need to see the chest first. What the fuck's going on? He ain't in there, is he? All right, Bane. Your move. You better be right about this. Jack and the car should have been moved aboard a secret caravan to a ship waiting somewhere off the southern coast. <laughs> if we can intercept that caravan, we can secure both the money to start our war and the partner to help us fight it. 
Either we get Jack and Cash, or we get nothing. From a Treasure Island fan's perspective, this is probably one of the biggest episodes so far because we know Long John Silver as the calculating but charismatic pirate who's willing to do anything but does still have a conscience. And up until now, we haven't really seen the ruthless side of him, just more the survival instinct. Everything he's done so far has just been mostly to keep himself or people he cares about safe. And this is the first time he just went in and stepped into the very big shoes that are the legend of that pirate and had his moment. Also, although they didn't specifically talk about the black spot, he did kind of obliquely reference it when he was talking about how he had a long memory and they would come for anyone who turned from their brothers. And I can completely see him later on sparking that very famous reference that gets started to give people something tangible to fear. For Eleanor, I think that she really believed what she said about trying to turn over a new leaf. I also don't think it's going to last. If she finds a way out of being sent back to England, she will. So far, Flint keeps doing a swing and a miss when it comes to trying to acquire assets. There's no way that they would bring in all of these characters only to not do Treasure Island. Like, it's going to happen. So I feel like they are going to get it back, possibly next episode or maybe later down the line. Even though they don't have a lot of manpower or ships, they are, however, getting all the key players into a central location. We've got Anne back, we've got Vane back, Maddie is on board. I'm guessing they're going to jump forward a bit in time and they're going to have Rogers swap over to be his more dangerous, I guess you could say, self as governor that we know he does turn into. So things could get really violent next episode on his side, knowing what he actually did. He wasn't kidding when he said, if you want to cast me as the villain, I will step into that role for you. I do think it was wise of Vane not to just attack the little convoy because they would never have gotten Jack back. And this way, the governor won't really make the connection between Anne losing Jack and Flint over here. I don't think he realizes how close they are or how much they know. At best, he'll probably be expecting Anne to perhaps alone or with one or two other people attack. He will not be expecting probably the entirety of Flint's fighting force to show up. So they'll be able to catch them a bit by surprise. Hopefully. Based on the pacing, I feel like we are going to get some sort of large combat going on next time because the last few episodes, other than the duel briefly, have been mostly political shenanigans. I feel like we're due for a battle. I'm ready.